bum, bum, bum. Hey everybody, Last Outrider here. How are you doing? Today, we travel into the world of non-fiction. That's right, no fluff today. I'm just talking facts. With Tom Kirby, Chairman's Preamble. Who's Tom Kirby? Tom Kirby is the non-executive CEO of Games Workshop, and he will tell you why there is an Age of Sigmar. This year, Kevin Roundtree took over the day-to-day -day running of your company. I stayed on as a non-executive chairman, so you get this preamble and my presence in the remuneration report. I will also be helping Kevin as and when he wants it as a consultant from time to time. It's early days, but theme, things seem to be going extremely well. The great master plan continues. Cutting costs, becoming more efficient, providing excellent returns on capital, and paying dividends. However, we do not set out to pay dividends. We set out to run an efficient company that uses money wisely. We know what we are doing. I'm sorry, we know that we are doing that well when we have more money than we need. This becomes your dividend. One bit of the Great Master Plan remains stubbornly unrealized. Sales growth. We knew that the huge infrastructure changes we have been making these last few years, and are still making, we've just signed off on a new ERP system, would be disruptive. So we are not surprised that many trade accounts across Europe no longer trade with us. Nor are we surprised at the amount of work we have to do to get great managers in our stores, following the move to a one-man operation scheme. Our efforts, unfortunately, have coincided with truly dreadful trading conditions. And for the first time in our history, a year when the pound was strong against the euro and dollar simultaneously. Our natural hedge hasn't been one this year. You can see the effects of our lack of sales growth in our gross margin, cost savings in the maintenance of our net margin, and currency everywhere. Nevertheless, I am sure he will tell you, Kevin has plans for sales growth across the board. More stores, growth in our existing stores, more trade accounts, and better performance from our mail order service. I do not often talk about our products, partially because I think they speak eloquently for themselves, and partially because it is important for everyone to remember that owners, customers, and staff, we are a business. We need to be here next year if you want more exquisite models we make. To be here next year, we have to do what all our customers want, not just the noisy ones, and find a way of making money doing it. This year, though, is an exceptional year. Not only have we just opened a wonderful new visitor center on time and under budget, Take a bow, Tony. We have also relaunched Warhammer. 
The visitor center is a cathedral of miniatures with the world's largest and most spectacular diorama. It only costs 7.5p and a day you will remember all your life. The new Warhammer is new. The Stormcast Eternals now bestride the universe, and nothing will be the same again. Not even the front of our building. Bye, Warhammer Age of Sigmar. When you come to the Visitor Center, or the AGM, and see what we have done. As I write, the world is tumbling in chaos around us. Pundits discover that they cannot predict elections. Americans ride to the rescue of world football. Thank you, Uncle Sam! Sunderland escape relegation again. The UK will split up into its consistent parts. It will leave Europe. And yet, we struggle on. Hmm. Babies will get born. Rain will fall. The sun shines and the plants grow. Our chickens keep laying. And Games Workshop still employs over 1,500 people, supporting 1,500 families all over the globe, making the best miniatures money can buy, providing one of the best investments in our owners' portfolios, and having a great deal of fun doing it. <laughs> Tim Kirby, non-executive chairman, 27 July, 2015. That, my friends, is the final answer on why there is an Age of Sigmar. I hope you found it interesting, and until next time, we'll go back to the fluff. Bye. <laughs>